Minimalist footwear has become pretty common in the last few years for running, rock climbing, and a number of other outdoor sports. The purpose is to provide some protection to your feet while still maintaining natural flexibility and light weight. In this video, I'll be creating my own minimalist shoes from nothing more than a pair of socks and some spray-on rubber, with a total cost of about $10. I'm starting with a pair of divided toe socks to better imitate the commercial versions of this style of shoe, but regular closed-toed socks should work just as well, or even better in a practical sense. The solvent used in liquid rubber is not particularly good to absorb through your skin, so rather than spraying it directly onto a sock while it's being worn, I'll stuff it with plastic grocery bags. Starting by cutting small pieces to fit into the toes, the socks are stuffed full and shaped carefully to match my own feet. An upturned coat rack makes for a good stand to hold the two socks in place once they're ready to receive a rubber coating. There are a few different brands of spray rubber, and any one of them should work adequately well. I thought the color red would be the best look, so that's what I'll be using here. The first coat should cover the entire bottom surface of the foot without causing the fabric to become so wet that the solvent bleeds around the edges. It will take multiple coats to bring the rubber to a reasonable thickness, and each coat should be given enough time to dry that the rubber becomes tacky before spraying on another. A fan can speed up this process. As the rubber solvent evaporates, the fumes can become quite strong, so this should be done in a well-ventilated area far away from any sparks or open flame. The thickness of the rubber sole can be made to personal preference, and I decided to stop adding coats at about the point where it became difficult to distinguish the texture of the fabric. Once the rubber has been given time to fully dry, the plastic bags can be removed from inside. The finished shoes may still smell like solvent at this point, but that should go away with a few more minutes of airing out. They're now ready to try on. I found them to be a little stiff between the toes at first, but it shouldn't take long for the rubber to wear in. The shoes seem to be quite durable and have held up well at protecting my feet, even on this coarse gravel road. The beauty of the design is that if they should ever start to show wear, repairing them is as easy as spraying on another coat of rubber. Cottage Life has posted quite a few more how-to videos since I last mentioned them. How to make a floating hot tub is a recent one I definitely wouldn't have thought of myself. It's pretty awesome. You can click the annotation on screen to subscribe to Cottage Life now, or go directly to their channel through the link in the video description below. Be sure to enable email updates on their channel page so you can keep up to date and see new uploads right away. Cottage Life's sponsorship has done a lot to support my own videos, so if you like my projects, be sure to leave them a thank you when you stop by to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.